Hello everyone. As a young boy growing up on a farm in South Wales, I regularly heard my mum call over the back gate. More than a hundred yards away, my dad or uncle would hear and respond if they wanted their jug of tea and Welsh cakes for their break in milking. They dare not miss the call or woe betide, they would hear about it for days afterwards. Today is St Patrick's Day and it will be celebrated all over the world in one way or another, but mainly for the impact Patrick had in establishing Christianity in 4th century Ireland. As a young man, Patrick was snatched away from his coastal village on mainland Britain by Irish raiders and spent the next six years of his life largely in isolation, where he learned to depend on God in prayer. Shortly before he made his escape, he received a dream, a vision of where he would find the boat that would take him home. The dream fulfilled, he spent the next years of his life studying for ministry. But his vision was still to return to Ireland, which he duly did, and the rest, as they say, is history. Patrick had received a calling to serve people who had mistreated him, but God's love compelled him to go. He followed his calling faithfully and established a thriving church in Northern Ireland and further afield. Patrick was following in the footsteps of the likes of Peter and Andrew, Philip and Nathaniel, and Matthew, who all left their places of employment to follow Rabbi Jesus in response to his, come, follow me. I think it is so significant that they became followers before they became disciples. They had to walk with him and watch what he did and said so they could understand what their calling was all about. They literally had to be covered by the dust raised from the rabbi's shoes as he walked and they followed, listened and watched. Then when the time was right, Jesus began to teach them with the words, Blessed are. And they started the journey of discipleship, learning as they followed and assisted culminating in Peter's great confession, you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. At that point, Jesus lifted their eyes to an even higher level of calling. If anyone would come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. In responding to Jesus' invitation, his call, Unseen and amazing things happen for those who consider themselves to be followers of the way. Jesus, the Christ. And you don't have to go to college or university first. All Jesus requires is willingness to follow. St Paul put it like this to the church at Corinth. Brothers and sisters, think of what you were when you were called. Not many of you were wise by the human standards. Not many were of noble birth, but God chose the foolish things of this world to shame the wise. God chose the weak things of the world to shame the strong. He chose the lowly things of this world and the despised things and things that are not to nullify the things that are so that no one may boast before him. One of our songs asks this simple question which requires our response. Will you come and follow me if I but call your name? An Irish blessing together. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face and the rain fall soft upon your field. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the hollow of his hand. 
Amen. God bless us each and every new day. Thank you.